Hello everyone, if you are dealing with project management and want to map the skills of your team members to specific projects and prioritize risks based on their potential, then creating a matrix chart in Excel is the best option for you. It can be also employed to compare different products or services based on their features. So this is Jihadrian team from Excel Demi and today we'll learn two methods on how to create a matrix chart in Excel. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the data set a bit. Here we have the name of the products, selling price, cost price and their profit in column B, C, D and E. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we want to create a matrix bubble chart in Excel. To do that, we need the help of some additional ranges. Here at first, we have the additional range 1, where we have the name of the products in column B and their serial long in column C. Now, we need to serial them according to 1 to 5. So, we'll write down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. After that, we need to go for addition range 2, where we already have the name of the products in column D, but now we need to add the serial longs in reverse order. Here, we have 3 serial longs because we need 3 axes to create a bubble chart. So, at first, we'll go for the E13 cell and start the reverse order 5 4 3 2 1 to do the same for serial long 2 and 3 you need to at first copy the serial long 1 by pressing ctrl plus c go for the serial long 2 and paste it by ctrl plus v do the same for serial long 3 so you have got addition range 2 also to insert the bubble chart select c5 to e9 cells Go for the insert tab and in the chart section go for insert scatter or bubble chart select the bubble chart here to create a bubble chart after that right click on the new chart and click on select data to open select data source here you will find series one in the legend entries select it and press remove to remove the entry after that you need to enter the new data so we'll go for the add to open edit series option in this section, we'll go for the data entries. Here, in the series X values, you'll go for data range 1, that means the values of C13 to C17. After that, you'll go for Y values. So, in this section, you'll go for the values of the serial long of 3 axis, that means the value of E13 to G13. And in the bubble size section, you need to get the values from the main data series, which is in this case, the value of C5 to E5. After that, you can press OK to get the proper series 1 value. You need to do the same for all the series. For the second series, you need to go for again the value of C13 to C17 in the X axis. In the Y axis, you need to get the second values. That means for Apple, you need to go for E14 to G14. And in the bubble size section, you need to go for the same thing, which is the C6 to E6. Press OK to get series 2. After adding all the values of addition range 1 and 2 in the series section, you'll get the result something like that. Now, if you click OK, then you will get the result here in the chart section. To remove by default labels in two axes, at first we need to select the axis and press delete in the keyboard. We need to do the same for Y axis, select the Y axis and press delete to get the result. For getting the new axis, at first we need the help of two new additional range. So here we have additional range 3 where we got the serial long in the column G. We'll get the serial long from 1 to 3. We'll write down 1, 2, 3 for 3 axis. As it will be used as the data label, so we need to go for the starting point which is 0 from all 3 cases. 
but here we have the column 2 which will be used later on in the bubble size so you need to go for very minimum value you need to go for any arbitrary value but less than 1 so we'll go for 0 0.001 and now we'll use fill handle to get the same result for every cell we have the additional range for which will be used as data series for labeling the y-axis as we're trying to start from zero point so write down zero as our first value of additional range 4 in the column 1 now use fill handle to get the same result for every cell you need to get the same value of the additional range 2 as we have used the reverse order so we'll go for the same here in the column 2 5 4 3 2 and 1 now in the column 3 you need to get the same value of the data range 3 column 2 as it will be also used as the bubble size so here we have used the 0 0.001 we'll use the same for the column 3 here write down 001 here and then use fill handle to get the same result for every cell to add the new additional ranges in the chart table so right click on the chart go for the select data and here in the select data source you will get the add option click on the add and now in the edit series section you'll go for the values in the x-axis you'll go for the value of g6 to g8 in the y-axis we'll go for the value of h6 to h8 and in the bubble size section we'll go for the i6 to i8 now click ok to get the series 6 you can also do the same for the series 7 you need to go for add again and here in the edit series section we'll go for the x values and now you'll go for h13 to h17 in the x values and in the y values we'll move on for i13 to i17 and in the bubble size section we'll move on for the j13 to j17 click ok in the select data source section you can again click ok to get the values in the chart section we'll go for the chart element tick on the data labels to get the proper labeling here to get the proper labeling of the axis at first you need to go for the x-axis right click on it go for format data labels and in the format data labels you'll go for the value from cells and here in the data label range you'll select the c4 to e4 as your entry and click ok after that you will uncheck the y value to get the values only and now in the label position you'll go for the below section now you've got the result for the x-axis for the y values we'll right click again and select format data labels and here we'll select value from cells and as our range we'll go for b5 to b9 and click ok and then uncheck the y value and in the label position we'll select left then we have got the perfect bubble chart according to our wish we can also go for the chart title and delete it for better visualization to add the proper marking of the bubbles now we need to click on the bubble values right click on it go for the format data labels and here we'll get the value from cells click on it and in the select data range we'll go for c5 to e5 click ok and uncheck the y-axis and now you've got the perfect result here you need to do the same for every section after adding all the data labels the chart will look like this and that's how you can easily create a matrix bubble chart in excel we can also create four quadrant matrix chart in excel to do that we'll go for c5 to d11 cells in the insert tab we'll go for the chart section where we'll find insert scatter or bubble chart click on the scatter plot to get the result now you need to go for the y-axis and right click on it to get the format axis and here we'll find the axis options here there is a bound of 0 to 3500 but now we want to get a proper valuation of 4000 so we'll change it and write down 4000 and click the enter button now you will see that you have got a better visualization here where 0 is minimum and 4000 is maximum 
Now we need the help of some additional data range. At first, here we have in the x axis the value from 0 to 6000, and in the y axis we have 0 to 4000. So at first, we'll go for the additional data range horizontal and vertical. We write down the value of 0 and 6000 as the highest range, and in the vertical section, we'll go for 0 and 4000 as the maximum value. After that, you'll go for the average section as we are trying to get the vertical x but we need to get the value of average of 0 and 6000 which is 3000 so we'll write down 3000 here in both cases after that we need to do the same average thing for the horizontal y axis 0 plus 4000 divided by 2 is equals to 2000 so we'll write down the 2000 here as average in the y horizontal in both cases After that, right click on the data chart, go for select data to open select data source, click on add to open edit series. In the x values, you'll go for the value of horizontal x, that means f5 and f6 and in the y values, you'll go for the g5 and g6. Click OK to get the evaluation here, then again click add to get another series which is the value of the vertical so we'll go for the f7 and f8 for the x values and then go for the g7 and g8 for the y values click ok and get the perfect result now click ok to get result in the section now you'll see you have got the some new points in the orange and ash color but there remains a problem because of the addition of horizontal and vertical new data ranges, the x-axis value range is changed from 6000 to 7000. But you can easily fix it by clicking on it, then right click and go for the format axis to open the format axis. And in the maximum bound, you can easily change it by 7000 to 6000 and click the enter button. So you'll get perfect result for here. Now click on the new additional data range, right click on it, go for format data series to open the format data series and here in the fill and line option, go for the line and select solid line, choose the color according to your wish and then go for the marker and in the marker section, you need to again go for the proper proposition here, you'll go for the none in the marker option to get the proper result here and now you've got the result for this mark do the same for the y-axis values also so that's how you have got the perfect range here now click on the points here you'll go for the chart elements and click on the data labels to get the labeling here now you'll again click on the points right click on it and now go for format data labels in the format data labels now you want to get the value from cells so select value from cells and in the data label range section you'll go for b5 to b11 cells click ok to get the result here now you'll see that you have got the result now it's a bit congested to make it proper visualization now stretch a little bit to get a much more attractive view so that's how you can easily create four quadrant matrix chart in excel so that's it for today you can follow these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelemy.com thanks for watching our video if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this